All right, folks, I'm getting ready to play a video, part of this video of what this hypocrite, Tommy Ingram, and this other hypocrite, I guess his name, Minister Charles, he ain't God's minister, and Tommy Ingram ain't God's prophet. Both of them are false prophets. But I want y'all to listen to what they say because they think they know. You know, the Bible says, speak what you do know. These hypocrites think they know. All right, let's, let's, let's go ahead and find out and see, let, let's see uh, what he's talking about. Yeah. Okay, so did you have you happen to know him? Uh kinda know some of the preachers and teachers? Did you get a chance listen, to hear him? All I listen, all I know that they were debaters. Yeah, debaters, yeah. Besides okay. all debaters and pride, you see where pride is taking these brothers. Yeah, yeah. These brothers are fighting for pride and their doctrine rather than the truth of the Bible. Exactly. No gospel. That stuff like from, from Gino and and uh and, and C. Johnson, I, you showed guy me. he followed. Yep. Then you got Tooks. And you know when all them people are in that that debate circle. That debate uh circle. You might call it a circle. And I mean listen, I used to be on that debate thing going what? around, but nothing was it wasn't nothing but pride, brother. That's right. Oh, I remember all I used to do was go around and debate the Muslims. But all right, folks, you heard that hypocrite, right? Minister Charles. He said all he did, he was in that debate circle. Not with us, he wasn't. He said all he did was debate the Muslims. Yeah, an uh, easy debate. Somebody you can easily de uh, de uh, defeat. But that hypocrite never came around and debate us. Hey, Minister Charles, if you get this video, uh, won't you come and debate me about some the Son of God? Is there a Son of God in heaven now? Because this lying hypocrite, uh, uh, Tommy Ingram won't do it. So won't you take his spot and step up to the plate since you're a minister? Prove your, prove your ministry, all right? If you said that there is a son of God in heaven now, then bring forth your witness, hypocrite. That's all you got to do, because Tommy Ingram ain't going to do it. Now, for both of y'all, since y'all said that there's a son of God in heaven now, all right, then tell me what is his nature? What is the son of God nature now if he's in heaven? He got to be flesh and blood, because that's the only thing that the son of God consisted of was just flesh and blood with a natural breath of life like us. And he lost that on the cross. When that natural breath of life left that body, that was the end of the sun. That's it. And he's no more. The Bible said, though we have known Christ after the flesh, know we him no more. Apostle Paul said, though he were a son. The centurion said, truly this was the son of God. Y'all go to scriptures, you don't know what you're talking about. Like right now, you hypocrites don't know what you're talking about. But let's go on, keep on, let's hear them out. I wasn't trying to win souls. Okay. What I was trying to do was win the debate. Okay. You know, all that was Amen. Right. Amen. And that brother Peter Cox, you, you gave him John 17, I believe. Yes, sir. And, and um, instead of him elaborating on what you said, he's going to try to go into something else Mm -hmm. We'll explain it away rather than to explain it. That's it. That All right, folks. He said I was going to explain it away rather than for it to explain it. Well, how did he know? This hypocrite didn't give me a chance to explain it. He cut me off. See, because it says, glorify me with the glory that I had with thee from the beginning. So while I was going to ask this hypocrite, when did God give the Son of God his glory? Because the scripture said, God said, uh, uh, my glory will I not give to another. So how are he going to explain that? God said he won't give his glory to another, but the son of God said, glorify me with the glory that I had with thee from the beginning since the world was. Now, if he was glorified before the world was, then God lied when he said, uh, I give my glory not to another. All right, let's keep going. That's it. I mean, to, this is like you said, this is really scary. It's scary. It's scary, brother. It's scary. It is scary. It's a shame. I would be if this brother have children and people following him and he's going to say that there was a son of God. Lord, I mean, there was a son of God in person here, but there still is a son of God. In heaven, on the right, side, right hand. What does the scripture say? Come up here, the Lord, the Father said unto the Son, and sit on my right hand till I make your enemies your what? Yes. Footstool. All right, folks. Now, you heard what he said. He said, the Bible said, come up here, hither, uh, uh, till I make thy enemies thy footstool. All right, Tommy, we're going to stop right there. And this hypocrite minister Charles, this hypocrite minister Charles agreed with him. 
Now, all right, Minister Charles, the Bible said make full proof of your ministry. Now, uh, Tommy Ingram says, Minister Charles, agree with you. Now, I want both of y'all to find where that scripture is written, where he said, come up hither until I make thy uh, uh, foes thy footstool. Sit right here on my right hand until right hand means power, hypocrite. When he told him that, he was talking about down here on earth. He was, tell, he was talking to that body. I think it's in Psalms 110. He was telling that body to stay in the spirit. Stay in the power of the spirit. Right hand means power. He was telling it to stay in the power of the spirit. No matter what they do to you. No matter how they spike you. They spin on you. Stay in the spirit. And that's exactly what he did. That body stayed in the spirit. That's what it means. He ain't talking about he told him, come on up into heaven and tell I make that foes thy foot through. Find it. Read it. The Bible says we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written. You said the Bible said it, Tommy. And this hypocrite minister, Charles, agreed with you. So I want both of y'all to read it. See, one, one thing about minister Charles I noticed. Now, you know you heard my video. You saw the video where Tommy Ingram Said right there and saying that those that were stone, stoning Stephen were biting Stephen. Do you agree with that? Now, if Geno Jennings, uh, um, uh, uh, Mary, uh, 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 any of these other preachers has said that, man, y'all would have been down their throat. But since this hypocrite Tommy Ingram said it, I don't hear none of y'all out there asking him where is that written where uh, uh, those that were stoning Stephen was biting Stephen. And you want to know why y'all not going to question? Because you love the creature more than the creator. Y'all talking about somebody worshiping man and, and praise man. Y'all praise him. Because why don't you question him about that lie he told? Where in the Bible? Now, he just told this lie. Tell, ask him about this. Where is it written that God told the son to come up hither and uh, sit on my right hand until I make thy foes thy footstool? Where did he tell him to come up into heaven and do that? Where? It's 